Welcome back to the Python 3 for Beginners tutorial and today we are going to be talking about loops and by loops I mean for loops and while loops and if we have time we'll also be talking about range so let's get started so for loops are uh, most generally used for lists which is what we talked about last time I'm just gonna create a list called list Oh, can't do that uh, I'll create a list called L set that equal to um, I don't know let's let's use strings one thing I forgot to mention was last time in lists you don't just have to uh, use numbers or integers in your list you can also use strings so for this we'll just use um, we'll just type in some letters so one two oops uh, two and three and we'll go up to four four okay so we have four items in our list and those four items are one two three and four in a string uh, format so or a string type so if we go ahead and we do a for loop basic syntax is here I'll just type it out so for and then the next thing that it is is the variable that we want to store all of these items in so I'm just gonna call them I for I in and then uh, in just says well what what list do you want to do or what do you want it to be in so I want this to be for I in L which is the name of the list that we're doing and then you have the colon and that tells you okay so this is what we're looping through right here. This is what we're setting the variable for. Now do this. And I just want to print i. Now this is the variable that we'll be working with inside of this for loop over here. And I want it to print i, which is the items in this list. So if we go ahead and run python and loops.py, that is just what I have saved this as, you'll see it does 1, 2, 3, and 4 because that is every item inside of our list. So say we uh, append something so we do l dot append and then we also append five then you will see that it has appended that and it has printed five because that is now added to this list also so if you remember me talking about slicing up lists and slicing up strings and all that uh, you can also do the same thing when you're talking about for loops so say i want to start from the second and go all the way to the end what will happen is it will only do 3, 4, and 5 because it ignores the first two because we're starting at the second. So the second one's right here. And we can also reverse this and go to 2, not 52, 2, save that, and run it. And it will only do 1 and 2 because it's ending it at the second, um, second item, which is in between 2 and 3, 0, 1. 1 to 2 right here okay so that is basically um, for loops but you're not limited to printing you can do anything you want in here so say um, let's say that we do uh, another for or no we'll print the length too so we'll do I and then we'll concatenate and we'll do minus sign concatenate and then we'll take the length of our string which is i is the item is what i said it as and that variable can be anything you want now it will do uh, we'll get rid of this so that you can see what the whole thing is like you will see one is three two is three three is five four is four and five is four and these are how many characters it has inside of uh this string right here so Yes, that is basically uh, looping through lists, and this loop will stop when it gets through all the items inside of a list, but let's say that we have another for loop, and in this for loop we do 4x in, now you don't have to loop through a list, so say um, we loop through the range, now what the range is is range is how many numbers we want to do so say I want to loop through uh, 5 and we don't even have to use a variable we can go 
print and then do oh sorry programming is awesome now this will print programming is awesome five times one two three four five because we told it that the range is five uh, so that just shows you we don't even have to use this right here but say if we did use that then what this would do is it would do zero one two three four because computers start counting at zero so if I wanted it to print all the way up to five starting from zero I would just have to add one to what I originally had and you'll see it will go zero one two three four five okay so there's also other parameters you can do inside of the range function and uh, this is going to be our min so the first parameter is our minimum so where do we want to start by default it starts at zero but say I want to start at one then our second is our maximum so uh, say I also I want to have it five like I did before and uh, the third parameter is optional I'm just going to show you what this does for now it does one two three four because like I said uh, basically just take the second number and subtract that by four and that's what it's going to do but say I have um, the increment b2 and that is a third parameter how much you want to increment it by so I go ahead and print this it will do one and three because I'm telling it to start at this and at this and it only can and it has to add up to two each time so that's a thing but if I set this to ten and increment it by two and start at zero like I did before then you will see it does zero two four six eight but if I start it at two it will only do two four six eight so that is range I'm gonna go ahead and delete uh, actually no we'll keep this we'll just comment it out and how you comment multi-line comment things out is three not four three uh, quotation marks and that ends off the loop right there and then anything under here you can see is just uh, a normal program and this will be all ignored until you remove these three things right here okay so I'm gonna set a variable called X and set that equal to 10 okay so now I'm going to be talking about while loops now what while loops do is it loops until or while the condition is equal to true but as soon as that condition is equal to false it exits the loop completely and continues to read down the code so uh, for example if I just go ahead and if I say while and then I do x is um, we'll do greater than 5 now right now 10 is greater than 5 and say I just go ahead and oh, whoops oh my goodness print x okay so I don't want to run this because this will be an infinite loop I'll just show you right here it will cons constantly print 10 which is this variable right here and I just press control C to get it to stop because I don't want my computer to crash and if you have an infinite loop your computer can crash eventually so if I still keep print X but then I do X minus equals 1 basically this is decrementing X by 1 or it's just saying take this and subtract it by 1 and that is what this variable is stored in so this and I'll add an equal sign here too okay so if I run that you'll see it starts from 10 which is our initial value and it goes all the way down to 5 and then once it tries to subtract it again to 4 4 is not greater than 5 5 is greater than 4 or 4 is less than 5 it exits the loop because then this is no longer um, true anymore so another thing we can do is uh, say I have a boolean and I could just do bool I can't do that well, we'll do boolean it's equal to true and then I can say while boolean and then 
I go ahead and print that, but then I change boolean to I do uh, should we do not not boolean run this oh and it goes ahead and I have to close that because I'm still printing X whoops if I go ahead and print boolean then uh, we don't we'll remove this not boolean right here I go ahead and set boolean equal to whoops equal to false so this is basically just saying while true and then it's gonna print it which is true and then it will set boolean to false and you will see it prints true then sets it to false and exits the loop immediately because true is no longer true false or true is false well okay boolean is no longer true we set it to false at the end and it exits the loop so that is basically all you need to know about for loops while loops and using the range like we did up here I'll go ahead and re remove these comments right here and run this one more time you'll see all this in our for loops right here our uh, for loop with the range and then our true or our while loop over here so I hope you all enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions make sure to comment down and I will answer them for you and if you like the video uh, make sure to leave a like on it and I will see you guys in the next one